All right, so we've got a problem from a student here. If it's a little bit blurry, don't worry, I'll read it to you. It says, select one or more expressions that together represent all solutions to the equation. Your answer should be in degrees. Okay, so we're working in degrees. Assume n is any integer. So the sine of x equals 1. What we want to do is take the inverse sine of both sides. So we'll take the inverse sine of the sine of x that will cancel out the sine operation and just leave what's inside the parentheses and I'm going to take the inverse sine of 1. So the inverse sine of sine of x is just x. So whatever is in here that will be the result. And the inverse sine of 1, well when for what angle is the sine 1 degree? Uh, for what angle is the sine ratio 1? Well. I'm thinking of my unit circle here. Let me just sketch out what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking, okay, we've got a graph. On that graph, we can draw a unit circle. And what we have to recognize is that points on the unit circle, unit circle has a radius of 1. The values of the point, the x value of a point is the cosine. So be over 1, right? The radius is 1, so it's over 1 that's our cosine and the height the y value is our sine value so here for example at zero degrees the cosine is one but the sine is zero so where on this circle would the height or the y value the sine of an angle be one that'll happen here if we go to this angle which is a 90 degree angle that's the point zero comma one because again the radius is one just moving up one here the sine is one all right if I look at 270 degrees down here let's do this in purple right what is the sine at this point well this is the point zero negative one so in fact at 270 the sine is negative one so we want to cross this one out for now and so so any sine a sine of 90 or any 360 rotation from that point will have the same sign. So for example, if I look at 90 degrees plus 1 360, right, that's 450. That means I'm going to go 90 and then around a full circle, I'm right back at the same spot with the same sign. If I did 90 plus 360 times 2, right, so 720 plus 90 is 810. That means I go to 90 and then go 1 360 and 2 360s and I'm back at the same spot. I have the same sign. And we can also go backwards, right? 90 plus um, 360 times negative 1. Okay, so that's essentially 90 minus 360. What's that? 360 minus 90 is 270, so it's negative 270. So if I'm at 90 degrees and instead of spinning this way, I'm doing a negative 360, so I'm going back here. That has the same sine value. So this goes on and on. So 90 plus any uh, rotation of 360, so times n. Any number of full rotations of 360, so n has to be an integer. That's why they say that right here, would be the answer. So here I'm going to go with choice. I'm going to cross out this. This assumes a 180 rotation. I'm going to choose choice D. C and E would have been correct if we were somehow taking the square root and it said that the sine could be plus or minus 1, then those answers would work. So 90 plus 180 and 270 plus 180, it would be a little redundant because you only need 90 plus 180 because you're spinning around and hitting both angles. But the idea is that that would work in the situation where the sine could somehow be plus or minus 1. All right, I hope this helped.